Hello, and welcome to this training on lesson picks. If you attended our training last year, you'll be surprised at all the new features this company has produced in just 10 months. When schools closed down in-person instruction due to COVID-19, lesson picks listened to their members and made changes to help with virtual instruction. What is lesson picks? Lesson Picks is an online resource for creating custom materials. It was developed by a speech therapist and her husband who happened to be an engineer. Um, rather affordable uh, product as well. $36 a year um, if you pay for it privately, but often your, um, your school or your principal has already paid for a group license. The benefits of Lesson Picks, um, really, it's unlimited material. You can make icons, schedules, token boards, uh, social stories, bingo boards. These are all downloadable as PDFs. Um, they also have added game boards, question cards, tracing sheets, and also books. Um, and they've really improved or increased their fine motor section as well. So they do have a royalty-free use of images, or you have royalty-free use of images that you can use in Word documents and in PowerPoint. Um, they do ask that you, um, if you, you can use these to um, assign to your students or give to any of your students, um, but they do ask that you use it like on Google Classroom, where students have to log in, and not on a web, um, not on a website where um, anybody can get to it. Um, so again, it is inexpensive and your department might already have a subscription. So today in this training, um, there are several things that I'm going to go over. First, um, we're going to go over free stuff. I'm going to show you the Sharing Center, um, go over some articles, tutorials, and YouTube channel. Um, then, we'll do, do we'll, then I'll teach you how to uh, use it how to use the symbol builder, how to build a collection of images, how to um, have save trays or make a collection, uh, make custom symbol, um, make and save materials, export and copy images, customize your image. Um, also, we'll, um, I'll show you about remote and distance learning with lesson picks and how they really have improved um, in that area so you can add it use lesson picks and powerpoint and ms word they have a really cool uh, play tools feature now um, and you can also use lesson picks on your phone so this was a really important feature last year when we were really on the go a lot and we're not really on the go anymore <laughs> but it is really neat and i just really want to show you uh, this as a resource and here is the main page of Lesson Picks. This is the home page. I've already logged in. Um, you can see uh, here are all the main tabs at the top, um, and they also have some other uh, sections here. Um, let's go through the Sharing Center first. So the Sharing Center. If you're out of time and you just want to look up some materials, here you go. You can download any of these. Um, so it looks like this um, hand washing um, steps was shared uh, recently. Here's somebody's schedule. Um, when I need a movement break, hi ho cherio uh, spinner, um, and even Thanksgiving bingo. So if you wanted to download these without having to make them yourself, you can. You just click on it, it opens up, and then you can download. Um, the PDF. And then these are all of the pictures um, that they use in uh, this particular bingo game. So if you like them, you can um, add them and make your own materials too. Um, so, and I'll show you the other formats at a later point. Um, articles. So if you come over to articles, maybe. Here we go. Um, this pops up. So they have a nice section here where they talk about here are some um, articles about at home. So here's a family reunion bingo, Independence Day trivia, uh, learning with board books. 
looks like my internet is kind of slow today. Um, and then there's also a section over here um, for um, in a story. So I really like this one. These are um, like thematic worksheets um, and activities that are related to a book. So if you're reading Bear Feels Sick by Karma Wilson, um, here are some ideas and activities for you. So here are some uh, question cards. Here um, are vocabulary cards, beginning, middle, and end ideas, um, story details, um, and lots of other things writing a story, puzzles. So if you like any of these, they're all pre-made. All you have to do is um, download them. Looks like they also have some other ideas down here. So they on the side here are where all the other books um, that they have activities for um, reside. And they have other sections like at school, so here are some five social skill lessons for use in remote learning that might be important. Um, categorizing and themes, but lots of free stuff already. Um, I'm not actually sure if, so I, you can use, you can log into Lesson Picks without having a login. You, um, it'll let you look around the website and try it out. You can even make some materials without having to log in. But when you try to print it, it gives you a watermark. Um, but it is a nice feature because then you can try it out to see if it really um, works for you. Um, tutorials. So we have, oh, there's tips and tutorials too. Here we go, tips and tutorials. Um, and here's, I spent a lot of time in this section, <laughs> how to um, change an image title, some tips for using lesson picks and PowerPoint, um, the sharing center, editing material. So if you have other um, questions or you wanted more specific training in a certain section, um, you can come into the tips and tricks, um, tips and tutorials section and see what they have. They also have a really um, good uh, YouTube channel and uh, they have some short lessons and some long lessons. Um, I watched the one on the latest features or the newest features that they had. Um, it was kind of a long one, but um, I found a lot of uh, new things, a lot of fun things that they had added, um, and it was time well spent. So let's go ahead and get started on using Lesson Picks. Now that you know where all the free stuff is. So you would go into your Lesson Picks. Looks like I wasn't signed in. <laughs> Um, and here we go. So this is what the main page looks like. You can say I have my pre-made materials all right here. Um, so these are things that I've made in the past um, that I have kept. Um, there's also my saved trays. Um, and then these are um, collections of words that I've put together that I wanted to keep and use uh, later. So let's go in first and do a search so it looks like i was looking for some art stuff rather recently but here are images that we have of crayons um, this was mine so you can see mine i actually added it as a custom um, symbol and i'll show you how to do that um, because i didn't uh, particularly i don't know i guess i really needed that one um, but you would just press the plus and then it loads into your tray. So let's do some other ones too. Let's do crayons. We're going to do glue. We'll do a glue stick. Let's do paint. <clears throat> Here we go. Um, how about paint? Oops, brush. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, let's see. If, let's see. There we go. 
Uh, I'm gonna go to see all matching. Caterpillar. Hmm. Anyway, you click on this one. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's do that one. Um, and those are all the pictures. So we're gonna go to, um, I'm gonna make a saved tray or a collection. It's one of the objectives I wanted to show you. So you would just click on save and we're gonna name them as art items. Save. And then when we go, you can change the name if you don't like the capital letters, you can change them to lowercase. Or if you don't like the name, you can do that and change the name right here. And then you just do save changes. Oh, they also have translate. So you can translate these items into another language, um, which I do like that feature as well. I wish they could do both um, at the same time. Oops, I guess it is translated here. Uh, you can translate it into Spanish and French and German. and. Um, so they, it looks like they've partnered with Google on translating. Um, let's go back to lesson picks. I'm gonna clear my tray right now um, because here we are. So we have our collection here. We've saved our tray. And when you click plus, it goes and populates into your tray. So that way you can keep your words. So if you have a particular vocabulary that you're using for a particular student, um, you can do that. So. Like I made a go talk for a student um, and I saved those images and then I had the JFK images I added there. So I'm often um, at that school and um, use those images. So I did want to show you. So the pictures that I have, the JFK images are custom materials or custom photos. So um, what you do here is you add them to your collection. So I am going to, Go to pictures. Let's see. Ooh, that one's not attractive. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's do this cute dog. That's much better. So I put dog cover. I'm just going to put dog and I'm going to upload my picture. You have to give it a title or you won't be able to search for it. Didn't work. I'm just having problems with my internet right now. You know, the little thing is circling. There we go. Oop, I did it twice. So anyway, then we um, we just added it. So we added it as a custom symbol. So when I type in and do a search for dog, he pops up as one of my choices. So let's do custom. Let's do a custom symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my tray right now. I'm going to come over and let's do um, let's do a shirt. Um, here we go. So here's a shirt, or you can just click on the shirt actually, um, and then this is where you're going to be able to customize it. So you can export it as a PDF, PNG, a JPEG. You want to use it in a different program. Um, color and recolor and customize. You can say no shirt today. Um, you can flip it upside down and you can add other things as well. Um, you can swap colors. I have not really figured this out. When they show it on the tutorial, he does it like fabulously. Um, but I, yeah, I can't get it in my brain how you do it. Anyway, you swap it. Um, but maybe you will have more luck than me. So give that a try, but you can customize or change the colors on icons. Um, and then you can just save it. So the other feature that they have is the symbol builder. So you can add a couple of different, um, uh, symbols into one so you can build and rearrange your own so um, let's say we want to do like clothing all together oops let's type in shirt we'll do that yellow one again 
And then we want to do pants. And then you drag that over. And then you could do shoes. And you can put them there. Um, and then, of course, you can resize and move them around all over your cell or your um, symbol. And then you would change your label to be clothing. And then they have tags. So I guess it would be like shirt, um, pants, clothing. Um, and then this will come up when you do a tag. Um, and there's our new symbol. So we made a new symbol. But those are important because sometimes we really like to add a couple different things into one um, particular cell. So let's make some materials. Um, we're going to go through, let's do, um, let's do colors. I know I had done that before. Let's do blue. You know what? I'm going to type in colors. I think that might be better. There we go. I can do all matching. Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you too is when you're doing a search, um, it shows you all the other um, things as well with that, not just a symbol. So let's type in colors again. So you can see here are the symbols and the, the clip art that match. Um, but also here's in from the sharing materials section here are colors um, and articles so they have some articles if you wanted to learn more about colors or that they have addressed colors there okay oh man I have too many blue I must have really liked blue okay and let's do orange and again, you'll see there's the clip art, here's the shared material, and here are the articles. So let's do create materials. Um, and this is where the fun begins. So you can see you can make picture cards, you can make the new ones that they added are circle cards. Um, I think um, also uh, some flashcards were new. Um, they added wristbands. Um, I really liked the different um, fine motor sections, fine motor uh, worksheets that they made, but all of these will be downloadable um, as PDFs. And um, then I'll show you how to do that and use it in uh, distance learning. So you can do um, puzzle cards. Um, Anyway, there's lots of fun things. Oh, they did postcards. Postcards are new. Um, multiple choice cards. I like this one. Um, and question cards. So question cards was new. I think it's similar to boom cards, so you can kind of make it them yourself. Um, let's try that. So this would be the section. So if you're doing a question card, um, you need to put the question first and then the responses at the bottom so I think they give you four or maybe five responses I'm just gonna do two um, so let's see what is your favorite color now this is <laughs> what is my favorite it <laughs> can't spell today color um, or and actually we could put what color is a tree okay and then because I am only gonna need two responses for this one I'm gonna say zero so this is where you put how many that you want um, next um, you can title it your question cards you can have it looks like you can have one or two cards per page. Let's do one. 
and answers, I only have two. Um, grid layout is um, if you want to move things around. So you're like, oh no, I don't want this one here. I want to switch it. So you would move it um, in that direction. Uh, save layout and finish. So then it's going to produce your uh, PDF. We'll open it up. And this is what your PDF looks like. What is your favorite color? Red or yellow? <laughs> you only get to choose between those two. Um, what is a tree? Whoops. What color is a tree? See, and you can try these out and um, work with them. And if you make a mistake, that's okay. Um, because you can just delete it. So, and then in my, when I went to my lesson picks, you can see it was a new material. And I'm like, wait a minute, I made a mistake. Then I you can just delete it. Um, and you don't have it. Okay, so let's continue to add some more colors to our tray um, because I want to make a game board and or actually I'm going to make some picture cards. I want to show you um, using picture cards some of the new features that they have in here. Um, so they do have a lot of fun different um, things in here. If you click on here you can get a preview of what it looks like. So they have some name tags, they have picture schedules, daily reports, um, wristbands are new, so you can send a message home. Um, they have communication devices, uh, line drawing or drawing pages, writing pages, and I really like the game board. Um, and I'll be showing you later how to make a game board for virtual learning. But right now, let's go up to picture cards. I just want to do a basic one here. This is where you can change it. You can add to. This moves you around. Um, this duplicates it. So if you want that, and then if you go, whoops, I didn't want to duplicate that. You just say zero. Um, there's also a feature too. I forgot. Um, in there, you can do blank if you wanted to have, make it a question card. So you could do blank and then the question card. Um, here we have uh, the different layouts. You can title it. Um, this is the new feature here. So it hide unused cells. This will save a lot on our ink. Um, that used to drive me crazy is those empty cells that they would have printed out, but they've listened to their users and they no longer have that. So this is where you would move them around if you wanted to make a custom communication board or different things in order. We have it clicked so it won't print around there. You can also do a background. So you can put um, background on particular um, cells. And here's save. And let's see what it looks like. Oops. Let's see what it looks like. Um, and there you go. And then you can download the PDF. You can bring it up. And this is what it looks like. So it no longer has that empty cell. And then these are all custom, so we moved them to the location um, that we wanted them at. So we're going to exit out of here. And we're done with that. Um, Let's clear these and we're going to do some clothing. See if our custom clothing icon comes up. Oh, there it is, our custom icon. So we're going to click on that. Oh, look, <laughs> pretty similar to the other one. Um, let's click on this folder. There we go. Um, oops. The internet is slow. So I want a pair of socks. And I want pants. And I want shoes. And maybe a sweater. Nice striped one. How about a jacket? Whoops. 
Don't know how to spell. And we'll add that as well. And let's do a hat. Oops. So let's do, oh, I have hats. And click and add a hat. I don't like that one. Let me try. More like a stocking cap. Oh, here's some more. Sombrero. What? Okay, we're going to use that. So now let's go to um, create materials. And we're going to make a game board. Oops. Well, I guess I figured out I want a game board. Game board. Next. And here we have our clothing. We can change it um, if we want. Change the title. I really dislike that they capitalize them. I don't know why, but I do. And we're going to say hat. Okay. And uh, we can say clothing. Oops. This one I do want capitalized. And then you can pick your layout. So they have like a long path, a numbered path, perimeter, now it goes around the outside. You can do in the woods. Well, that one's kind of cute. Um, so some of these, um, this is also good for um, like doing uh, RAN boards or rapid automatic naming boards. So they touch the cell as they go around and name each thing that's in the cell. Um, let's do that one. So you can decide if you want shuffling cards, if you want to show the image titles or not. Um, let's, let's say, nah, we're going to finish. And now we have a game board. So from here, instead of doing download as a PDF, you can download it into other formats and we're going to do uh, PowerPoint fixed with tokens. They have a couple of different features there or different ways of downloading it. So I think in this one, this is just the background. If you download it um, into a fixed PowerPoint, it downloads it as just the background so you can't move it. Um, and then these are movable. So um, you can move it around on the page, which really won't make sense because right now we just have one particular one. But um, the with tokens, I'll show you. We're going to open this up in PowerPoint. And then this is what we have here. So you can see um, they gave us tokens that we can use. So if you don't want them, you can erase them. Um, and then you can use these to uh, for your game. So we have this. Let's do insert. Okay, you can't see that because it's off the screen. But you would come over to insert. You go to store. Okay, and here's lesson picks. So when I click on that, and then it pops over here, and then you type in your username and password. And then the items that you have in your tray will appear here and you can move them. Oops. I keep forgetting you just click it um, and then it pops over there. So if you wanted to add some more decorations or whatever, um, you could do that. Now the play tool is right here too. So you can make it a spinner. You can create a game and spin it. And shoes. So I'm going to move my guy to shoes. So you can play like that. That would be a lot of fun. 
um, you can or you can do numbers and then you do create a game and you can use the spinner with just numbers they do have um, other options as well like a dice drawing cards or a timer the dice does not work for me very well um, and he stated um, the husband did in the training video that they're um, he that's as good as it can get for some reason because I have um, an older version of PowerPoint um, but see it does look all flat but if you have a newer version of PowerPoint um, your um, dice should work fine so I do like the drawing cards and you can oh can't get them from a hat or a bear and draw and then it pops up um, and then you can move your guy that way so lots of just fun different ways of getting students to interact um, here's a timer so you can create a countdown or a count up um, and start so you could always do that too like if you have oops we gonna start <laughs> um, anyway I guess I think it's my internet but um, this is a neat feature if you needed to just have a timer there to remind students you know what's happening and what's gonna happen when um, things like that so this feature this add-on is also available in MS Word so if you wanted to open up Word um, you could do that and you can add um, some new um, if you wanted to make a letter to go home you could do that by opening up MS Word uh, so I wanted to end with um, showing you guys um, how to I don't want to save that uh, I wanted to show you about the phone so using cells on your phone so we do have some matching symbols they have shared materials um, <clears throat> and here is lesson picks is now mobile so here is the video on this particular uh, feature. Let's see if you can hear that. Hi folks, this is Bill from Lesson Fix, and I'm thrilled to be announcing our new Lesson Fix mobile site. This is a fantastic tool. It's going to let you use all the things you love about Lesson Fix, the sound finder, the minimal pairs tool, uh, the symbol builder, uh, the wizard, the material wizard. Everything is going to work well, well on your phone. Uh, there's no additional charge. It comes with your normal Lesson Fix membership and we love it. Uh, we originally did this because of the younger crowd who don't really pull out their laptops as much. Uh, but the truth is everybody who has tested this loves it. Uh, a lot of people prefer it to the main site and we can't wait to hear what you think of it. Uh, I've got a quick video that shows how it looks and how it compares to the old site, what you should expect. So uh, uh, here you go. Let's take a look at how the new LessonPix mobile site compares to the main website. If you visit LessonPix.com from your laptop or desktop machine, you'll see the layout on the left. This is efficient and easy to browse, but it isn't really usable from a small screen like an iPhone or an Android. When you use Safari, Chrome, or any other mobile browser from your phone, you'll see the LessonPix mobile interface to the right. This is an emulator of an iPhone 7, so your phone may look a bit different, but we'll adapt to it and it should look and work fine small hint of which tab you're showing at the top. By clicking on the square hamburger menu at the top right, you can get access to all those options. You might notice that the colors and the order of the main options are the same. That's not an accident. We spent a great deal of effort making our mobile site look and feel like the lesson picks you know and love. Let's check out the clip art library and make a material in both interfaces. Notice that you have the same folders and images, but some elements have moved. Your tray is moved to the bottom and is minimized to just one row showing. You can pop it up and see it works just like the original. In addition, the gray bar at the left with our filters and category list has moved into a pop-out tab on the mobile site. 
You'll find this consistent throughout the site, including in the Sharing Center and the Sound Finder tabs. Let's add some more farm animals and create our first material. We click on Animal and Farm on both sides and slide down to the cows. On the main site, we could drag the cows into the tray. However, with mobile phones, dragging usually moves the page around, so here we'll use the blue plus signs. Clicking on one adds an image to the tray. Let's open it and make something. Clicking Create Materials, you'll see a bigger change. Rather than pop up a wizard dialog, like the main site, the mobile site takes over the full phone screen. You can see the same list, and clicking on the radio button on a template like Picture Schedules will show you the same preview and text. One option that's new on the mobile site is the Grid View. This shows all of our templates as photos. This is a great way to quickly browse our templates to find your favorites. The filter works the same on both sites, so let's filter down to bingo games. Clicking Next, we have our Details page. We can change the order, quantity, text, and even translate the set to another language like French using Google Translate. Hitting Next again, the Materials option page looks similar with the same choices just laid out for a phone screen. We'll make 3x3 bingo cards for 5 kids and simply change the color on the mobile version so we can identify it later. That's it! Your PDF is ready to download. I wanted to show you that you can use the Play Tools um, here um, on the web, um, just directly from their website. You don't necessarily have to have, whoops, I guess I'm not logged in. Um, you don't necessarily need to use it in PowerPoint or in Microsoft Word, um, but you can use it um, here. So if you wanted to um, play a game or something um, with your students um, without using their other lesson picks, so you can just totally minimize everything and just have something else on your screen, um, but you can create um, a game. So it's whatever pops up, whatever is in your panel is what is going to show, um, or in your, not your panel, but in your tray. So the items that are in there will um, come up, but you can use that, or again, you can just use like numbers um, and have a spinner on your computer. Anyway, that's it. I hope that you find, um, I hope that you have found this training um, helpful. And we hope to see you again soon. All right, thanks, bye-bye.